What we need is for this moment, COP15 in Montreal, to be a turning point, um, that the world comes together and has a strong global deal for nature. COP15, the United Nations Conference on Biodiversity, starts this week here at Montreal's Palais des Congrès with around 15,000 delegates participating. But what is COP15 and the goal of this 13-day event, bringing together people who will negotiate from around the globe? COP15 uh, is the, an international meeting that's going to deal with the way that we protect nature and our relationship with the biodiversity of the planet. Governments from around the world, 196 uh, parties we call them, are going to come and discuss a plan for the next 10 years of how we conserve uh, nature, how we use it sustainably, and how we make sure we share all these benefits from using biodiversity with equity. We know that one million species worldwide are at risk of extinction. The same thing is playing out here in Canada with over 2,000 species that are at risk of disappearing forever. There are 22 themes for discussions, including reducing invasive species and pesticide use and cutting food waste. Uh, the ASEAN region, despite occupy, occupying only 3% of the world's total land area, it is home to almost 18 to 19% of all the known plants and animal species in the world. So we are a treasure trove of biodiversity and uh, we are trying our best to safeguard these biological resources for future generations. Delegates will be working on a new treaty expected to be signed on December 19th. We've been negotiating with uh, other youth uh, so that it may be uh, implemented in the, 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 the convention that we shall do. We need to see com countries committing to ambitious targets like 30% protection of land and waters by 2030. COP15 requires a massive security operation with this metal barricade lining the perimeter of the conference area. All levels of security officials are on site from the UN, RCMP, Sûreté du Québec, Montreal Police and more. And even the nearby bustling subway station Metro Stop Place d'Armes has been closed down for the entirety of the event. It's a standard procedure to make sure that uh, there's no real disruption or that someone doesn't accidentally wander on the site. Protests are planned by anti-capitalist groups for the start of the conference. Greenpeace were not affiliated with any of the any of the uh, movements or protests that are against the COP. We are very concerned about seeing systemic change. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.